soothe your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. Let them blend and meld into one. As you look upon the configuration before you, I remind you briefly that you are looking poetically into the eye of God, the eye of creation, Hey everyone. The holotope was invented by Randall Fonts, who's sitting right here. Thank you, Randall. Randall uh, was a longtime um, creator at the Exploratorium in San Francisco for light projects, light and sound projects. And he's devoted his whole life uh, to creating um, visual representations of the inner self. And uh, he's really hit it on this one. So. Um, and I'll just briefly describe the, um, the mandala shape, the circle, in mathematics is called a Gossett polytope E8. It's actually a derivative of the Gossett polytope E8, which is a 248-dimensional um, object. This is an eight-dimensional object as a relation to that. And currently in, in, uh, in modern physics, um, in a certain section of... Uh, of particle physics, they're, they're using the E8 as a model for the uh, construction and description of the, uh, of the atom. So what we're looking at is, from a supersymmetry point of view, is what Bashar calls the one particle that exists um, in everything and in in everywhere, that's traveling at an infinite speed, appearing to be everywhere at once. And that's the primal pathway that that particle is traveling, okay? So what we're looking at is the atomic structure of our reality. And what Randall's done is he's painstakingly layered each uh, of the eight dimensions with different colors. And we'll be projecting different colored lights onto the holotope so that you'll be able to see the different aspects of those dimensions. And we'll be strobing them in, in different types of brainwave patterns that your mind will begin to assemble the eight dimensions. And hopefully you'll pop into that eight dimensional field. Okay? So it's really quite an experience. <laughs> yes. The other, thing, um, the other thing I want to point out is the fractal patterns in, in somewhat the backdrop. It's an equal partner in the experience of the holotope. Um, fractal math is, is uh, demonstrative of nonlinear uh, creation. We're taking very simple um, uh, patterns and elaborating them in infinite ways. So it represents uh, the nature of our reality, a rock, the structure of a rock is a rock, but no two rocks are the same. It's infinite in terms of that variation, such as we as individuals are all human, but represent um, the multitude of humanity of 6.5 billion of us. So that's what the, um, uh, the fractal patterns in the backdrop. And as we project the lights, it'll breathe back and forth between the supersymmetry and the, and the infinite creation, sort of masculine, feminine breathing in and out. And what I love about this is as people b being a representative of our sort of prime consciousness, primal consciousness, that a lot of things happen. People, uh, are, people, people's innermost psyches, innermost spiritual connections begin to become revealed to them. So you might see past lives or parallel lives or the kinds of uh, alternate realities that we're looking for to teleport ourselves to through this method and means. Um, it's an eyes open meditation, and implicit in that for us is inviting the conscious, waking, rational mind into the dream time, into the altered state, into the multi dimension. Most uh, spiritual tr traditions up to this point has regarded the, the ego mind as something as an obstacle to getting into these states. But we're at a level now where we need to integrate that last part of ourselves, our, that last part of the, our evolutionary self, into the subconscious, into the unconscious connecting with our higher selves and our soul. So this is the uh, engagement. And when this happens, um, stare, we, we recommend that you basically stare at the center. And as you stare at the center, 
soften your gaze. You'll, you'll be able to receive information from your peripheral vision, which receives a whole different level and frequencies of information. So you'll be receiving it through your conscious mind and through the peripheral vision of more your uh, subtle states of reality as well. So that's, um, that's the type of engagement we're, we're looking for here. Um, what else do I want to say about it? Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> we're definitely on the path of beauty here. Um, and uh, beauty in, in trances, beauty brings a sense of timelessness, a sense of the bigger picture to our conscious awareness, a sense of belonging. And uh, that's what we're, we're trying to convey here in terms of this reflection of who you are at, at the most deepest level.